All right, hey guys, uh, this is two. We'll get started here shortly. Uh, I do have the guy on here. Uh, I'll introduce him in a little bit. Uh, but if you guys can hear us, let me know where you guys are uh, you're watching us from. Uh, just say hi, say where you're from, and uh, I'll do a couple of shout outs here, and then we could go from there. Uh, I know that I'm excited to talk to this guy. Um, I I kind of, uh, three, four years, uh, you guys kind of heard me talk a little bit, but a while back I was researching him um, because I see his photos at like Hmong Village and all that other stuff, and I didn't I, like I didn't know he was I didn't know he was wealthy. I just knew that uh, he was an interesting guy, and then it turns out he's also wealthy. So <laughs> it's like uh, it's good to 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 get to know him, and I've been blessed and fortunate enough to get to meet him, uh, and uh, I get to talk to him throughout the last three four years. So. Uh, let's see where you guys are coming from. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Sam is saying hi from Atlanta. Uh, Tia, Tia Tao from Milwaukee. Uh, Wynn says hi to all. Uh, Sam said he was he was cleaning up the town. Uh, back. <laughs> it's because Steven posted it. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, I'll put a few of you guys up here. Then we'll get started here shortly. If you guys can go ahead and please share this on your guys' page too. We want to reach this out to as many people as possible uh, because uh, I, you know, uh, we, we we're doing this just to kind of share and get this information out to our community. So I'll just point these out here. Uh, maybe a few more. So they're like all over the place. They're like Minnesota. Oh, there you go. We have a couple of Minnesotas here. I was like, where are all the Minnesota guys at? Everybody's like from out of town. So uh, as we go through uh, uh, tonight's uh, stream, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments too. And I'll be watching it and I will, you know, post those comments up and uh, questions up. Uh, and and share with the guys. So before we get started, uh, 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 I'll put them up. Let's see, show you in the stream. All right, it's three, two, one, and then you're up. Hey, so what? What? Are, before we get started, what? What are you drinking? What was your drink? Oh, I, I, I decided not to drink. I was going to drink tea, but then I might oh. need to go to the bathroom. So then I just decide not to drink. Oh <laughs> man, I, I, I got, I got drink. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Did you still want to go get it? Or? No, no. I was, if I was to drink, it's just some tea. Uh, I, oh. Man, that, that's probably 20 years ago. Well, 15 years ago, I, I might do that. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, got, I got this. Well, this is my drink, but I, I thought I, I'd grab a drink, too, because uh, for you. Nice. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not smoking cigar or anything, but so I thought... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I I'm gonna like drink. I'm guy, but I'm weak, man. When it comes oh, to okay. <laughs> well, I'll take it easy. This is my drink, so thanks, thanks for coming. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah um, I thought you, I, you, you said you're gonna get something, so I went to get this. That's why. Usually, when I say something, I mean tea or or, or water. <laughs> well, this is tea. This is tea. Yeah, yeah, look like tea. <laughs> All right, so we'll get started. Um, all right, so uh, let's hide some of these. Okay, so we'll get started. Uh, hey guys, this is two. Uh, welcome to the, to the show. Uh, we did a little. Uh, uh, we're, we're changing things around a little bit. I usually talk a lot about real estate, but uh, this this guy changed my mind uh, about real estate. So. Um, so this year we're gonna focus on 2023. We're starting this year in January here. We're gonna be putting out a lot more content uh, to uh, our Hmong community and uh, just our people in general. Uh, and, and so uh, we, uh, I kind of changed branding a little bit and we're going to be doing a lot of shows uh, focusing on a wide variety of investments and businesses and real estates. and. And uh, and our focus here, uh, we created new. I'll put this up here. We created new. Um, let me hide this here. Uh, oh, 
Oh, I'm, I'm pulling you back up. <laughs> we created a new uh, uh, group uh, on Facebook too. It's called Mom Wealth Builders. And so if you guys are not part of our group here, uh, just look us up on Mom Wealth Builders on Facebook and you guys could go ahead and join our group there. Um, and the reason for the reason for having a side here is because he's actually he, he doesn't even know this. I didn't tell you yet. So side, you, you're actually the one that uh, inspired me to put this together because uh, I was like, yeah, yeah. So so that's why I wanted you to be the first one on here, um, because I was like really real estate focused all the time. And then I really uh, with the conferences that we just went down there. Uh, really kind of changed my mind, uh, uh, not changed my mind, but deepen my understanding of what I wanted to do. And okay. so what I really wanted to do is to kind of help our community build wealth uh, first through me, right? Uh, and then, because uh, that we'll, we'll get to that story about that in a little bit here, but first through me and then through our community, uh, go out uh, where we become wealthy, you know? And so you inspired me to do that. So I'm changing gears a little bit to kind of bring a lot more attention to everything else that we do in terms of wealth building. So that's why we have the group. Uh, so if you guys are not part of the group yet, go ahead and go on there and join. Um, within the last like uh, week, we already have 500 plus people joined. So we want to grow this to 5,000, 10,000 or 100,000 of our own community um, members, okay? All right. Uh, All right yeah so thanks for inspiring uh, uh that okay so with that said let's i did that yeah yeah i didn't want to tell you yet because i wanted to tell you on on air here okay. <laughs> yeah so we'll do a lot of these shows uh mom wealth builders so our first mom wealth builders we have is side tall okay um uh this is our first one so i can't pull your uh stuff up on i can't oh i think lucy oh there it is all right Usually, uh, uh, Chai does this, so we'll put the names up. Uh, but yes, I would throw you your first mom wealth builder. So if I throw you, you know, introduce yourself. Most people know you already. I put in the profile that you're an artist. Uh, I really think that you're an artist. Uh, uh, and so, uh, I mean, you are, but an artist in life, you know. Uh, and so I think you introduce yourself. How you know? Uh, how did you start building wealth? And, and you know, we'll, we'll get into all those uh, details later. But what do you do? A quick introduction of who you are. Sure. Um, I don't know. I I done so much stuff. I <clears throat> I think I I like to look at it as different life. Uh, like you know, first came out of school. Well, you know, we're 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 talking about going to school and. Um, I applied to one school uh, because the campus looked nice. So yeah. that was the only, the only college I applied to. And I got in and then I went to, I told my dad uh, uh, two weeks before school started, I said, hey, can you drop me off? Yeah. <laughs> and then I went to school and two, two years later, they said, you got to pick a major. So I yeah. flipped through the book and I just picked one of the major. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't know what, what, so what you're like, major. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, uh, there, it starts with the Z. <laughs> yeah, this, this or looks or interesting. Or whatever. Looks, yeah. yeah, this one looks interesting. Uh, there's like 30 choices or something, so I pick one, you know, because yeah, you yeah. need one to graduate. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I pick one. And then uh, I stay there two years and I graduate with a political science and studio art. Uh-huh. So uh, I have a BA in studio, uh, uh, political science in studio. Then I came out and I we did theater, and then I I went and um, I went into teaching. I didn't like it. I got I actually have a teaching degree. I yeah. I need maybe well, one more year. I have a master's in education, yeah. but I'm like, yeah. I don't want that. You yeah. know that's so so you put twenty thousand, and so I told you. Uh, for the first year, I got paid twenty thousand as yeah. a full teacher. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, oh man, that was no. I, I didn't I, like that at all. Yeah, you didn't you like know? teaching. No, I did. I, oh, I couldn't deal with the little kids. You know, I couldn't. Oh, 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 what, what, what yeah. grade? Yeah, what, what, it was what elementary. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. it was elementary, and then I mean, it was. There are times where it's rewarding when the kids learn, but. This yeah. is just too much discipline issue. And so I just, I didn't want to deal with the kids. So I got out, 
yeah. and then went to the arts and did theater, did painting. Um, yeah. You know, got my stuff shown at the museums and all that stuff, but didn't make any money. Um, and then while I was doing, you mean you mean artist, you don't make you mean you don't make money as an artist? I thought like they they no. make a lot of money. <laughs> no, man. At, at at that time, I was probably one of the most successful artists because uh -huh. I had my stuff in in, in big time galleries already. You yeah. know, yeah, and but. That, that that didn't translate to money so i'm like something's wrong you know and yeah, so yeah so i kind of got out of that because when you have kids you know you yeah you, you need money right art doesn't yeah. pay so yeah um but while i was doing art the i was part of this activist group and yeah I, i'm one of those activists i think uh but I never burned down buildings, though. Yeah. But you were I, one of the, the looters, looters back then. No, no, we just protest. We didn't, we didn't block streets or burn down buildings. So yeah. Uh, I, so I did a lot of that, and then that led me to running for office. Uh huh. And and, and then I got elected. <laughs> I think by the before before I was thirty. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I got elected before I was 30. Oh. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, that's yeah. long. So, yeah. and then I got elected. Um, and then I served for eight years. Um, while I was serving, I started building my business. I, I, I went to the assisted living uh, business because there, there was a need um, because no one was doing it um yeah. that there was a need for Hmong, Hmong yeah. elders yeah and and there was not one building that would cater and because the biggest part was the language and the food yeah yeah and, and and so we opened one for for Hmong elders and then after the first one uh we opened the the, the following year we opened the second one and then after that, there was no more monk elders. <laughs> There's no oh, more. So monk you had to, elders. yeah. Okay, so yeah, what? There's what, like what, ten of them, right? There was probably yeah. ten of them, and and so that was it. But then, the the business was good, so yeah. we opened one more, the third one, and then we had, uh, Lao, Cambodian, uh, other Asians that we, uh, Chinese lady, uh, yeah. so we got other Asians in, and then. We continue to open the fourth one every year i open a new one so i i just I, instead of spending my money i kept investing right keep keep building new ones so the fourth one we opened so so these are single family homes they put we put five people in each and the fourth one i opened uh and there was no more Hmong or asian asian yeah so the fourth one is this all older white ladies yeah and so, and then uh then the state put a moratorium said they they were they were not going to fund the uh the small facilities anymore mm -hmm. and and so we went in the fifth year we went and did a 35 unit then after the 35 unit a year later i convinced the bank to give me money with zero down yeah. to do to add another 34 unit to it and when they did that our profit went from a profit like triple okay so our, so our next, so before next. we go before we go to your profit like i don't want to share your profit yet so yeah, sure. <laughs> so let's, let's take a step back a little bit uh uh so you start as a teacher uh in your yeah. like right when you graduate so your early 20s right yeah, yep. and you became a teacher. Uh, I always wanted to be a teacher too. So I, my goal was actually to be a teacher as well. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that was your goal back then, but I always wanted to be a teacher uh, because my parents uh, talked to me about that, right? That, like my dad wanted me to teach, and, and yeah, same thing. My mom wanted me to be a teacher, so I'm like, I, yeah. I got nothing. To do. Uh, yeah, I'll go teach. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So, but you found out that's not that's not good for you. You made twenty k a year uh, at that time. That was probably a lot at that time. Um, I no, think it wasn't. That was, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enough yeah. enough to pay for like a two bedroom apartment and yeah. a used car yeah, yeah 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 and so but you found out that's not right that's not good for you that you decided to go to the art stuff so why why did yeah. you decide like like you're like teachers not paying enough arts play pays better or like what, what were, oh, what, were oh, you, oh, what were like what were your intention with with all your art pieces when I say art, I really mean that side did did do art. Like uh, I, I saw painting. your art pieces in uh, yeah. yeah painting. Um, uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Like, what was the inspiration behind you going to do all those paintings, and why that? Why that subject? Like, why not like like you know uh, woman painting or like landscape painting? Like like you have a particular subject that you painted. Yeah. So. Um... The if you looked at my stuff, it looks almost like and so I kind of yeah. there, there was an artist called J, his his name is Jacob Lawrence. Yo, uh, it's okay, Duna. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he painted the, the he called it the uh, uh, some some African migration series or something. Yeah. And he talks about the whole African American slavery issue. And he tells them each one tells a story, and so it's, it's similar to the, the way the Hmong people do pandao. Yeah, you know how how we tell our stories in in, in the pandao, right? Yeah. And so uh, I just thought, you know, maybe I do something similar like that instead of doing pandao. Um, I tell the stories, so instead of telling the whole war series on one piece. I broke it down like each scene into one piece. And so I started telling the stories and um, and it was a time where I was just trying to discover who I was too. Mm -hmm. You know, I, at that age, you're at a, you're kind of lost. You don't know who you are. You're yeah. at a, you, you're not sure, you know, you're Hmong, but there's no Hmong people around. Yeah. But there's some Hmong people and, and you don't see the stuff in the books and whatever. And so I just thought, oh, maybe if I, 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 I paint these stories and keep these stories, maybe eventually it'll get into um, museums or curriculum and it'll be something for Hmong kids to study or other kids to study about Hmong people. And so yeah. I was thinking of, of that. And so that's, and, and I went into that and I started painting and I, I told myself in five years I was gonna have a big show at the either the Walker or the Minneapolis Institute of Art, you know. Uh -huh. And so I did the painting, and and I also got some awards. That's that's why I went into art. Uh, I got the Bush Fellowship. I got the uh, I don't I I don't know whether I got the McKnight. I, yeah, I got the Drone Travel Grant. I got a whole bunch of little awards that pay me. And yeah. so they paid me to stay home, kind of paint. And and so uh, that led to that. And also, while I'm not painting, I was building uh, this arts organization, CHAT, you know, the Center for Hmong Arts and Talent. Oh, I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah my, my wife, myself, and a friend, we were the one that opened it. And and I ran it. I, I got... Um, I, and so we, we got it uh, to the point where it was making money or not making money. It got money in to, to run its program because my my idea was to help other artists. Yeah. Uh, so they could they we could do showings. We could do a musical for their uh, plays and uh, we could put uh, events up for them. And so uh, that was the whole idea of chat was to create something to support the Hmong artists yeah and, and so uh we did i did that and then i was the first director and i don't know what happened i convinced the board i said uh they had no money they had zero dollar i said hey let, let me be the director and i will raise the money and when i raise enough money you're gonna pay me thirty thousand dollars 
Yeah. Oh, so you went from twenty thousand to thirty thousand. Yeah, they the one has zero dollars. So I convinced yeah. them. They say, yeah, but within a year, I raised one hundred fifty thousand, and then the uh, next year, I raised three hundred thousand. Yeah. So yeah, then it, then they start paying me thirty thousand. I should have negotiated a little bit more, but <laughs> <laughs> back back then, money wasn't important to me. Yeah. See, so, back then, it, as long as I got enough to eat, right, that was good yeah. enough. And, and and so uh, I used the money on the other artists. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, like some of the artists, they don't have insurance. Yeah. One, one one lady, she was about to give birth, and she had no insurance. So I said, "Hey, <laughs> you're working for us." She put a put. A, she probably put like ten hours a week, mm -hmm. and and I'm like, "What? Well, do you want to be on our insurance? We'll give you full coverage." So she yeah. got full coverage. Wow. You know, she got like the the Cadillac of insurance. Uh, no, no deductible, no premium, yeah. nothing, right? Yeah, everything, yeah. everything paid for, you know. Yeah. And, and so I took care of the artist. Uh, I think she gave birth, and I think, yeah, she. Uh, both of her kids were probably under the insurance that I, I got oh. for the uh, organization. So, it's but that, so I did a lot of yeah. that, and then, and then went to the politics, you know the the. But a lot of my stuff, I. 50 pieces of my artwork is still at the uh, is at the Minneapolis Institute of Art. So I did get my show. I didn't get in my fifth year, but I got it on my sixth year. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you see it on there, but I I, I just pulled up a few of your pieces. Um, oh, I can't see there. nothing. I, oh, I can't okay. see nothing at all. <laughs> you can look at the stream. Uh, people people say I, I was only I was gonna grab more, but I was only able to pull two pieces uh, to put on here. So, um, so so now people are looking uh, as you were talking. They see two two of your pieces. But uh, how many pieces did you do total? I did 50. 50. 50. Oh yeah, fifty. So then, uh, the Minnesota Museum of Arts, right? I think here. Uh, they they yeah purchased... Minneapolis Minneapolis Institute yeah. of Arts. Um, yeah. uh, it's yeah. on. Uh... South Minneapolis. It's free. Um, my they bought my stuff. They pay uh, thirty thousand. No, twenty five. They pay me twenty five thousand. So about five hundred dollars piece. And they uh, they rotate it. Uh, sometimes they put ten up. Other times they put one or two up. But it's always up. Yeah. In in the contemporary uh, wing. So. All right, then you you have a book. I think you published a book on this too. So if if people are interested, maybe I'll put that uh, note uh, on here afterwards. Uh, if you guys want to go take a look, I need to go get one. I kept saying, yeah, I yeah. They, I need to have your signature. They, they could go to they could go to uh, her her publishing. Oh, her uh, publishing. Those, those, yeah, those guys have it. Uh, they could order oh. from there. Okay, I'll put then, that uh, here later. Um, yeah. I need to get you to sign it before you become way too famous, and then uh, you gotta make me pay for your signature. So I gotta go get that. Uh, okay, so so that's fine. That's your early life, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's great. Uh, you you said. I mean, you did a lot of different. You, you did teaching. You did some art stuff. Uh, not just for yourself, but then you also help other fellow artists and put some organizations together and stuff like that that's sort of like in your 20s and earlier you alluded to me that at that time money is not that important to you right so then um let, let's do our first question our first actual question here uh this is our mom wealth builders uh, uh show so then what does uh so then now what what does uh wealth mean to you now like like what's your definition of wealth so so I told you at that time money wasn't important, and truly it wasn't. I I was happy, yeah. you know, not having money as long as I could pay my bills and pay my mortgage. But you 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 know when when I realized money was very important. Yeah, yeah. When when was this? Is when I was at the state capitol. Okay. That's when I finally clicked for me that money runs. The world, you, if you, you, I don't need to be at the state capitol mm -hmm. to do things. If I have money, I can make yeah. them do it for me. <laughs> you you okay. know, I, I don't, yeah. I don't need to be in a position of power to make things happen. If yeah. you have money, 
money money makes everything happen yeah. without money you can't do anything like even yeah. when we were doing the art right i didn't yeah. i didn't rec- I, I didn't recognize it but without the money we couldn't uh uh start the organization we couldn't put the shows together we couldn't yeah. uh i, I mean i kind of knew that but it didn't click in yeah that at the end at the end of the day is the money until i went to the capital and when so they changed they changed you at the capital they're like sorry wake up <laughs> no <laughs> i they, know what did they do to I you over like, there? I, I yeah. realized it. Yeah, one day I it clicked for me. I realized it because everybody that came to me to ask me to fix something, yeah, have money. Okay. Yeah. A lot of money. Uh, I mean, yeah. just insane amount of money. I didn't see any of that money, but I'm the one doing all the work for them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, oh shit. That's when I'm like, okay. That's when it clicked for me that, you know, if I want to do what I want, whatever I want to do, if I want to help people, what, if I want to change policy, if I want to do a uh, change this or that, or, or make, make people do this or that, I, yeah. you need money. Yeah. You know, well, like, if you, yeah, if you don't have you know- money, you can't do anything. Yeah, like when you're an art, when you were an artist, you were able to use some of those funds to help your colleague, like the lady that was having her baby, right? Mm-hmm. But imagine right. if you had more, re- more funds, more money, you could probably help a hundred of those people that needed help, like like she was. Right. So, well, so I didn't so realize that yeah. until I was at the Capitol. Then I'm like, yeah. oh shoot, money, money is the grease that runs the whole world, right? You need yeah. money to grease the wheel. And, and so, uh, and I, I also did a little bit of traveling, and and I remember this conversation I had with my dad. Uh-huh. Uh huh. He said, "Hey, you know, you you you're you're the only you, you're one of the my son that you, you're the guy that has traveled and seen and done a lot. What 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 is your perspective on life?" What, you know, what do you think? And I said to him, I look at him, I said, Dad, money runs the world. From this point on, I, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just going to make money. I'm just going to focus yeah. my time and make money. That's all I care about right now. Because I finally realized that without money, you can't do anything. So, yeah. so from that moment on, I, that's kind of my whole focus. That's so kind were, of midway, so, midway when I was in the office. That's when I mm-hmm. started the business also. And that's when it clicked in that, oh, shoot, this business uh, yeah. is the way I'm going to make the money. And and I realized that. And I, you know, I, I have friends and mentors. The, there was this guy. He's also a state representative. He became good friends. And I didn't realize it, but he, he was a very successful businessman as well. He, yeah. he used to own one of the biggest airline that, you know, they when the, there was a time when a whole bunch of airline went bankrupt. He yeah. sold that one and it went it went bankrupt after he sold it. Um, anyway, he kind of mentored me and uh, helped me think things through while I was building my business. Mm-hmm. So so I remember going to him and say, hey, Dave, um, I know I'm going to be a millionaire the numbers there i yeah. know it's gonna happen it's just there's it's just when you know um and, and so it was at those few moments that i knew that that was that yeah. was the direction that that because wealth without money you, i still truly feel it today like mm-hmm. even if I, you know you want to do philanthropy you want to help poor people out yeah you can't do it if you don't have money yeah, me, me. It took me a while too, because, uh, like I said, I wanted to be a teacher, but then I realized that there's no money in teaching, right? Yeah. That like, if I can't take care of myself, like, like, because I want to teach to kind of help people, right? But if I can't take care of myself and I don't have the resources, I can't take care of people, and so that's when I, like, I, I that was conflicting me, uh, 
it probably took me longer than you did but i think it took me like eight ten years to like cons uh like like and that that could i need to go get some of the funding first <laughs> right to give myself yeah. feel well and then i could like depend on what i want to do i can help people um so so yeah we'll get to sort of how you build your wealth uh, uh in a little bit here but like it like what what advice can you give now like knowing now like like is it important for us to pursue wealth like what's your advice for the audience that are listening about uh, pursuing wealth i know you made a statement down there that that uh uh that that another million for you is not gonna change your life but you wanted us to know about something so 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 what are what, what advice can you give about us pursuing wealth right now us younger generations or us guys that are starting out well uh, should, should um, we pursue wealth or should, should, should we go be teachers like everybody wanted to do um uh, every job is important but our community um yeah. you know we we come from a long history of being just dirt poor farmers that's yeah. always been i mean if you really think about for the last five thousand years we're just dirt poor farmers mm -hmm. and that's why that's why we don't get no that's why we can't do anything because we're we're uneducated poor unorganized um and and, and um not not united in 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 thoughts right yeah uh even if we are we have no uh no resource mm -hmm. to 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 mobilize ourselves okay because we're so isolated everybody's on their own little mountain yeah on their little mountain somewhere and, and so that's kind of the history of our of us right yeah and 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 this is the first time in the history of our people where we're giving an opportunity and we have the same opportunity as everybody and we're giving opportunity to be in the first in the in the first world in in the country in the most coveted country in the world mm -hmm. where where we could generate immense amount of wealth yeah okay so we we are we are just starting you know i can't count on my grandfather or my father's generation to totally understand wealth building or the or, or how to maneuver and become wealthy in this country uh i think my generation and even guys younger than me they have a better grasp and and mm -hmm. they, they have they have a better opportunity to generate wealth yeah and and what happened is when we as a community more of us have wealth have money mm -hmm. we're able to come together and collectively put those money together or pull those money together whether whether we decide to put together or not um that's irrelevant but let's say you 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 have guys owning these company many times they're gonna hire other Hmong individuals to run those companies so then you not only create wealth but you create talent you create skills yeah. in the workforce for your own people because yeah. for, for for example nobody will hire me to run a company you, <laughs> you know <laughs> you know yeah but but if i created one and i then, see a, a talented mong guy i yeah. probably hired that guy you know yeah yeah because i don't have that prejudice towards him saying well he's mong he might not be able to run it you yeah. know i don't you we, we, and so um i was talking to one another legislator he said you know when when you're when you your com when when your when your community has arrived is when this happened is when you you give the vice president job to your daughter 
who just graduated from college and she refused it. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's when you know you. Yeah. That's when you know your community has arrived. Yeah, because, yeah. Because you don't want it, you know. That means so did, she's probably got something better. So did you give the VP job to your daughter, and she, did she refuse it yet, or? Well, I I try. I asked them, do they want to run it? Not just the VP. I want them to run it, but they're like, no. Nah. So I said, okay. All right, that's that, that's a good sign. <laughs> no, not just me, right? Not just me, but but it could be one of those things where you call me and say, "Hey, my daughter just graduated here." I say, "Oh yeah, I got a VP job for her." You yeah. know, that's when you know your community has really arrived. Is yeah, yeah. we could just make those phone calls and make yeah. things like that happen. Yeah. And so, and so I think as as we build. You build your company. I build mine. The guy down the road, the, the uh, your our brother, this other buddy, he built his, and and yeah. and we just build these big, massive companies, and and yeah. we start, we start um helping each other uh, or um start feeding off each other, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and start training our 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 community members to run it. Yeah. Uh, then that that wealth. Not only we create wealth, but we create skills and um, skill sets in our community that we have never had opportunity to access to. You know? Yeah, yeah, I I, uh, I totally agree with that, and th that's kind of the takeaway that uh, uh, what you just shared there is kind of the main takeaway I got, and that's what inspired me to do this, right? Uh, to 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 do this these shows again now. Uh, it's is the fact that you're saying that, you know, if we want our own people to be wealthy, then it starts with each of us building our own wealth, and you build each of companies, and then we could all decide, you know, to like what you just said. Either we decide or whatever to use these resources, pull together, and they're totally wealthy, you know. Um, and so I, I'm very, uh, I'm very glad that you uh, paved the way for some of us younger guys uh, now, and I think we. I agree with you that we have the opportunity, you know, like our parents did not like they were farmers that like you said they don't know mm -hmm. what to do, right? Yeah, they're not educated. Yeah. Like, like we can't blame our parents for like, no. like, like I'm like, no. I can't I, I cannot yell at my mom for not teaching me financial stuff. Like, like she, she don't know. Even know. <laughs> yeah. So how is she gonna teach me how to build a company or teach me to get my financial stuff in order, right? But here we, we, we have you know actually when you talk about your mom, actually we have to fight our parents. Yeah. Because I when when my dad, my mom and dad heard that I was gonna risk everything yeah. to put all my money together and build this and, and, and go all in on, on my business, yeah. they came to my house and they said, My dad said, Hey, don't do it. Because yeah. he's scared. My mom's scared too. Yeah. They said, don't do it. I said, why? Why shouldn't I do it? They said, you you might lose all your money and go broke and be yeah. poor. And I said, Dad, I'm so poor right now. I'm already poor. <laughs> I'm I am already poor. poor, man. I have a chance. Here's my chance. If I take a risk, I'm going to be okay. So, yeah. so for you and me, it's not even our parents that don't understand. It's we have to fight. Yeah. We had yeah. to fight our own parents just to do it, and and so it's a good thing that Gucci yeah, 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 you're 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 a troublemaker. Uh, that's why you're that's why you're a politic. That's why you're a, a state rep. Okay, so let's yeah. actually go to let's actually go to that. Like you, you put all your money down to to build your wealth, right? This this was when yeah. you started. So what was that? Like what what was your wealth vehicle that that you you built like what was what what was it why did you put all your money there like why didn't you just take all your money and go put it on red at the casino and then you could have been just as wealthy <laughs> so yeah so to explain well what's what is that business that you built yeah well yeah. that's just gambling I, I i don't gamble but i i take a chance on my on myself if if, if i have a good high probability of of doing well but mm -hmm. uh it's just my, my own personality i i realize it that i'm i'm the kind of guy that 
when I do something, I drop everything and that's all I do. I focus hundred yeah. percent on it and yeah. I put everything I have on it. Yeah. You know, you go and, all and in. I, yeah. All in. And it's, it, I don't recommend that for other people if that's not who they are because yeah. they might lose. I mean, for me, I was willing to work at McDonald's if yeah. if I lost all my money. That was my plan B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, I mean, the the when, when I start building the small business, um, I um, it, we put in twenty thousand uh-huh. dollars, and and I focus on continuing to work, but my wife was free she quit her job so she could focus 100 percent on the business just yeah. and then i just help her so, so this so was she, this was the assisted living uh business yeah, the assisted living. Yeah. yeah uh and so i help her but she ran a hunt uh a full time uh yeah. we had to do i had to keep the job so we could pay the bills right uh, because by then we had two kids already and so yeah. anyway so for like the first year, we didn't get one resident and we like, we lost all, all of our money is gone by then. But then at the, by the end of the year, we picked up one resident yeah. and after, after that, we got new residents and, and it quickly filled up. And within yeah. a year, uh, I, I took the, the money that we made and I built, I went and bought another house and opened yeah. it again. So every year I built, I opened one and then the fifth year. Uh, we got enough money. Uh, we had to put 500,000 down to leverage yeah. a, uh, 15, no, a, a 2.5, $2.3 million loan. So the yeah. total project was 2.8. And so I had to put 500,000 down. Yeah. And that. So that's the, everything you had again. Everything. I mean, <laughs> my, the, I got a piece of land. I, I, I. I went and, and got a line of credit for the land. Yeah. It was like $100,000. Yeah. Uh, all, all the money, I, I got all of my pension, my 401k, yeah. everything I have, yeah. my savings account. Uh, I had to go borrow another two, uh, uh, no, about 100, another 100,000. Yeah. Uh, and then. I went all in. Uh, I had nothing left. Yeah. yeah. And, so so and this was, so this was the thirty-seven unit. Uh, yeah, the thirty-five unit. Or oh, thirty-five. Yeah. 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 And so and you, then, went all in and you, zero, you zeroed out again. I and zero you money. Finally, I you finally zero. made some money in four or five years, and then you zeroed yep. out. I zero okay. out. I went well, all. First I of all, nothing. yeah. First of all, before you go forward, when you first lost money, that twenty thousand for your first one. I'm surprised you didn't lose your wife. Like, like what, what was like, <laughs> well, why well here's, like, here's why, because we are budgeted to use that 20,000, uh, -huh. whether we make money or not, we were not going to miss it. Okay. So, so yeah. you, you and your wife were on the same page on that. Like it was, Oh yeah. Yeah. You have yeah. to, right. It, yeah. If you're not, it, you're going to argue every day about it, but yeah. We, we, that's kind of who we are, right? Once we budget something, we just throw in there and we're going to yeah. use it all. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and, and then find some more, you know, yeah. <laughs> to use. So then the second time, oh, okay. So you budget, so you and your wife are on the same page. That way she doesn't leave you <laughs> yeah. or you leave yeah. her, you know, maybe you might leave yeah. her. And then the second yeah. time you zero everything out, but more money now. Right. And more. Yeah. Yeah. More yeah. money now. And, and, and that way your wife will still be there with you to support this business together. Uh, yeah. and, and, and so how did, how did that go? Like you put everything in, uh, zeroed it out again and you built this 35 unit. Like, uh, how, how was that at that time? Like, what was your thought process? Are you like, yes, we're going to get it done. Or were you, were you, were you excited? Were you nervous? Like, like, well, what was going through your mind or, or, so, so this is how I explain it. So I was too stupid. I could have failed. Uh, I so was you didn't too know stupid. that you could fail because you're too you're too stupid. To yeah, I I didn't know I was gonna I could fail. So I was yeah. too stupid, right? I was like, ah, just just do it. I, I didn't 
like I was too dumb to know I could have failed. And so, yeah. <laughs> so here's what happened, right? <laughs> so we put all of our money in there and then we got the building open and now we have a mortgage and the staff, mm -hmm. payroll, everything. So it's like 60,000 a month. Yeah. I had no money in the bank. Because <laughs> you gave everything away. I mean, you just yeah, everything. I, just, I didn't have any money left. I'm like, oh, yeah. now what do I do? Yeah. So, so, so I went, I went to the bank and, uh, you know, I, I talked to my, my, the, the bank that gave me the loan. Mm -hmm. They won't give me an, uh, another penny. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I had a, I had a relationship with this other bank from the small business. Uh -huh. and, and and I, I, I run. Uh, we run about a, a, a million dollar through the bank uh, uh -huh. of girls, girls. Um, and I went to the bank. I said, "Hey, I want, I want a hundred thousand dollar line of credit." Yeah, non secure. <laughs> <laughs> they look at me they're like you're crazy. Mind. Wow, they just you just want money. Yeah, yeah. They are like you're crazy. We're not giving you anything. I said, "Fuck it." I'm going to take all my money out. I'm going to go to a different bank. Give me all yeah. my money right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then then they say, check? okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> then they say, okay, wait a minute, wait. Uh, say a week later, they call and say, okay, we, we give you a, a 100,000 line of credit. Not um, secure. <laughs> yeah. Well, so they got it. You yeah, so be I got the money. Deep. Yeah. Yeah. And then I wrote, quickly wrote it and used it. Well, oh, right? you use it because you have 60K. Of operations that lasted about two months, YouTube. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and then and then I had to go borrow uh third uh thirty thousand from my brother, thirty thousand from my aunt. Yeah. So that lasts me another month. And then um, <laughs> yeah, your brother, my, my, your aunt, you need to do you need to do well by there right now. You need to, uh, by, you by, need. So so by then yeah. I was like doing getting better and by by the six months i broke even i made enough money to pay all the bills mm -hmm. but i still had zero dollar in the bank yeah and 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 the property tax came yeah. and i had no money left and so <laughs> uh i'm like how do i pay the property tax now man and then the the lady from the institute of art calls me and say hey i saw your stuff in the museum we're gonna buy it from you I said, oh, yeah. okay. She said, oh, she want to pay me twenty thousand for for twenty five. I said, no, you got to buy the whole thing. She said, okay, yeah. I, I want fifty thousand, but she lowballed me. She only gave me twenty five thousand. Uh -huh. So, so I said, fine, but I I need the check tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> because you did you got a you got a property tax bill. Yeah, yeah. So she gave me the check. She said, lawyer, all this stuff. I said, I don't care what your problem is. Write me a check tomorrow. Well, I'm not selling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she wrote me a check. I went, picked it up. We paid the property tax. And then after that, everything just like you know, went, went game buster. Yeah. And, and yeah. we didn't have, from that day on, we, we didn't have any more uh, money issue. Yeah, yeah. But you yeah. you went like you went negative. You had to borrow money. You at that time you had to do whatever you can, even sell oh. your art pieces, like, oh, like, yeah. like to get Basically to get everything. Over yeah, everything that was valuable to me is done yeah. gone. Yeah. Why yeah. did you? Why do you have such a persistence to like, like why were you so persistent and, and uh, to make this work? Like why didn't you just go work at McDonald's? You hate McDonald's so, that much, or what, what? What was it? So, so I have this. In, so, when I was in high school, yeah. I joined the wrestling team, and and halfway through the season, I quit because I was working too, and I got heavy load in school, and I didn't. I quit wrestling. Yeah. Uh, and it's just eat at me. I feel like a a quit quitter. I feel like, man, I let myself down. I, I didn't care about the team. I yeah. just I feel like, why did I quit? I feel like a quitter, right? Uh -huh. and, and and from that moment on, I told myself I would never quit. I would yeah. never quit anything I do. Yeah. And so I kind of carry that with, with, with my yeah. mentality, right? 
Yeah. And, and so when I do stop from that moment on, I just, I just don't quit. I, I think, you know, I always say it's okay to make mistake. Uh, just don't make a big enough mistake that will kill you. Yeah. So I, I think my, my, that project was at that point where either the business die or I die. Hey, yeah. Someone's going to die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the business is either going to make it and I make it with the business or the well, business die and I die. One of yeah, us going to yeah. die. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you just, you, you just can't quit. I think, I think with that mentality, even if it took you like a year, I think you would have held on in there or even like yeah. maybe two years, I think. Uh, but, but either way, the business is going to make it or, or or you die you're like yeah i died trying man. either i died, died trying man. yeah yeah because there was there was no quit right yeah cuz i already gave everything everything yeah. that was valuable to me all my money all my asset i already yeah. gave it all and yeah. and and even the artwork and all that stuff yeah. and uh, i even went back to the museum and said hey i'll pay double i'll pay double for what you guys pay me and I want to buy my artwork back. Yeah. But they won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> you're like uh uh you're like the uh Rocky Balboa uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, story. You know, he, yeah. he had to sell his dog to 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 get Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog yeah. Too? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, uh but okay, that so it went well after six months. You guys broke even. It went well. And then you have a second phase to this too, right? Didn't you do yeah. a second phase on this facility? So, yeah. so, so, how so, did that so it was going well. And then we're making, you probably want to, you guys probably want to hear the numbers, right? We, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. 30, the 35 unit, we, 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 we profit uh, about 500,000 a yeah. year. Oh, so that's okay. your net. Yeah. That's our net. That's our net. What's after um, you pay like all your? Uh, that's all after I pay everything: everything. mortgage, okay. property tax, employees, everybody. Yeah. We we made about five hundred thousand, yeah. and and then I went back. I went to the bank. I said, "Look, look, I'm doing so good. Give me money, but I don't want to put any more any money down. I don't want to put penny yeah. down. Just give me a hundred percent loan." to add another second phase. And yeah. my projection is I will double. I will make 1 million. I will net yeah. 1 million. If yeah. you give me if you give me 2.5 million to to build this second phase, I'll make instead of 500,000 a year, I will I will profit 1 million a year. Yeah. So they got a, a new president and he's trying to get is the bank. So he, yeah. he said, "Yeah, well we'll give you the money." I said, "Wow, yeah. really?" You know, and, and were, so, were you, did you, did you think he was going to give you the money or like, or, or your, I was asking for, but I didn't yeah. think he was going to because four or five other people already turned me down. Oh, okay. So you, yeah, also yeah. you were pursuing, you were looking, you, you, you're asking around to see if you could. I'm pursuing it. all the time. The, yeah. As soon as the building's up, I'm already pursuing the second phase. Oh, you know, oh, wow. <laughs> I had no money in the bank. I'm already pursuing. You know? <laughs> you're going on to the next. Yeah, scaling up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so finally, that the bank said, yeah, and, and so they gave me two and a half million to build the second phase. Yeah, and after we built it, and one after after the first year, uh, we were we now. The gross was four million a year, and we yeah. net two million. Oh, so you you didn't double? You like four x? Yeah, four yeah. times. Yeah, four x. Is that big? Oh, yeah. I mean, you doubled the amount of beds or rooms, but then you four x your profit. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, because yeah. The, be, 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 because the um, your your fixed cost. Yeah. It doesn't go up anymore right you don't yeah it, and so you have these fixed costs which is a lot of uh, management and, and high salary individual so you don't uh -huh. need to pay for those and so yeah. um and 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 then you have a big bigger critical mass and so everything just worked out that way and so we went from like half a million to 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 two million mm -hmm. just by expanding 
Yeah. And yeah. I told my wife, I convinced her. My wife was so scared. She didn't uh, want to do it. I said, I said Well, you you, you scared her like a bunch of times. You zeroed out all the time. <laughs> so she's like, she's like, this is the last straw, man. No more. None yeah. of this. It's, it's yeah, I yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I I told her, I said, it took me a year to convince her. It took me longer to convince her than the bank. Oh. So. so <laughs> <laughs> the mix already okay. Your wife's like, no, no, I don't want that money. Yeah, I know because after the bank said okay, it still took me a year to convince my wife to sign it. Yeah, yeah. So, so the the reason the way I convinced her was I said, look, we already owe two point three million dollars. Yeah, we're not putting any more money in. I just signed a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. And and now we owe instead of two point five. A two point three, we owe uh four point eight. Yeah. You know, if I foreclose two point five, two point three, four point eight, who cares? It's yeah. just a number. <laughs> You'll mess up your credit score the same way. Yeah, I just yeah, who cares <laughs> by then? Yeah. Once I broke, I don't care for the credit score by then, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm like, don't worry, we just sign paper, we don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, so, 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 so you got to start changing your mind too, right? Yeah. Like there's no difference between 2 million and 10 million. It's, yeah. it, it's still the same paper, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you just sign the same stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, after a while, like it doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter how much you owe. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Like a hundred thousand. Yeah, as long as, 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 long yeah. as your business enough generate enough to yeah. pay it back, right? Yeah. As long as your numbers work. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. You know why? Why? Why you're scared? You know because yeah. um, it's just signing papers. Yeah. That's how I look at it. <laughs> but people are like, oh my god, you, you know, you now you owe twice as much. I like, I don't care. You know? I think uh I think when we got our first property, it was a fourplex and it was uh two hundred and fifty thousand no two eighty. And my wife was like like she was going she she was sleepless, Pucci charger for like five days for a week. Oh wow. Yeah, and she was uh she didn't want me to go through with the deal, she wanted me to back out. <laughs> I'm like, we already signed the document. <laughs> I didn't have money, I would have five thousand. I, I did a lease option contract. That's yeah. all the money I had at that time. Put the full five thousand in. And, uh, uh, yeah, my wife was like uh, worried uh, too. But now, now we buy these uh, uh, two, three hundred thousand dollar homes, and it's fine. So we need to scale up. We need to do the two, three million dollar project. So <laughs> yeah, you 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 need to just package all your stuff together. Yeah. Go get a huge line of credit, and then just go and. Buy yeah. ten of them at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our plan. Uh, we're in transition this year to do that. Uh, yeah. yeah, really, exactly what you just said. Because I was talking to Ku too, and and you know he was looking through my portfolio. So that's definitely like like the next thing that we had to do. Uh, yeah. So what did you do after that? You you that was here in Minnesota. So now you're in Florida. How how like 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 you made all you made like two million dollars a year now. And then you you retire or what what are you doing in Florida? So so 2019, I, I sold that business that was making yeah. two million a year. Yeah. And and, and then I opened a, a second building. Um and this one, the plan is to do uh hundred twenties. Right now I have fifty unit right now. Uh-huh. And Finally, it caught up to my wife, and my wife's like, "Ah, I don't do no more." So, <laughs> so now my wife wants to sell that fifteen, uh, that fifty unit yeah. that we have right now. Uh-huh. Uh, we won't make a lot. We we uh, will make a little bit, but yeah, I you know I I got enough. Um, I got enough after I sold that fifty nine or uh, sixty nine unit, uh-huh. and. Uh, I got more in, enough money to last me a couple of lifetime already. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then when I sell this other fifty unit, um, yeah. you know, I I don't even need it, but it's yeah. nice to have. Yes, yeah. you know. So, so so is that 
So is that wealth to you to to have enough money to last you multiple lifetime or like uh, you you don't need it anymore or what? Like like what do you think of it now in terms of money? I mean, when you're twenty, you're like you didn't really understand. Um, what does all this money mean to you now? So it gives me, it buys me time. Uh -huh. uh, not it allows me to use my time however I want. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I I don't have to work. I so I don't have to worry about working and being able to pay uh, uh, for my house. So I everything's cashed out. Yeah. You know I I don't I don't owe anything. Uh, when I buy stuff, I just all cash. Yeah. And, and so, um, so that, that allows me the freedom to use my time however I want. Yeah. And, and because of that, I'm, I'm slowly, uh, transition, transition into, um, teaching. Uh -huh. I'm not a teacher. <laughs> <but basically. laughs> <laughs> you're going back to teaching <laughs> yeah yeah i know man <laughs> but, but this is you're, you're teaching people who want who want the information so yeah so 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 the last couple of years the last two years i've been i've been sending money overseas yeah. to help families to build their own business yeah uh, the money is a little bit less important but mm. when i give them the money to start their business yeah more or less i'm kind of coach them and teach them about how to use the money yeah. uh how to budget and all that stuff and and so uh i'm able to with my money i'm able to do philanthropy stuff uh -huh. uh, to help help build, build wealth for other people right yeah yeah and, and then also education is still important so i I send kids, kids who, who make it to college that don't have money. Yeah, yeah. I pay for their tuition, you know. Yeah. And and room and board and and these are just kids. I don't even, I never met in my life. You know, yeah. these are just total stranger to me. And 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 I was able to meet them uh, yeah. on on my last trip, so that was pretty cool. And and you know, some of these kids, if if I didn't send in the money. They they would not not have the opportunity to to better themselves, and I can see that those kids grow. They yeah. grow as uh, a, a, a more mature adult, yeah, uh, a, a more mature woman, a more mature man, um, and, and so they they see much more. They see the world uh, with be better lens than their their own parents, yeah, and so. Uh, you know we're just creating better people in our own community anyway mm -hmm. so i'm doing that and then uh after i sell this uh this 50 unit here my plan is probably to go live in uh overseas in asia maybe part-time mm -hmm. and and you guys saw me do those videos uh those really poor poor people with those poor yeah. houses you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my goal, the reason why I went was to kind of assess the situation, and and we're probably gonna end up helping those uh, individuals as well. Yeah. Um, get get them a, a better place to live in. Um, man, I, I yeah. you, you you know that video of that that guy that he had a tent, he had to live in a tent inside his house. Yeah, yeah it was so emotional for me i went and he opened his door and i, I and i saw his house and i cried and i, I cried while i was in the house yeah and there's like four or five other adults yeah uh, elderly mom guys outside and i didn't want them to see me and i had like yeah. i had to yeah. breathe yeah. really hard yeah you know and, I'm thinking to myself, a tough guy like me, you know, guys like me don't cry, right? And I'm just uh -huh. like, wow. <laughs> so it, it was very, uh, it was something that I think 
I I'm probably gonna focus a lot of yeah. my time in in trying to help guys like him. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, just to um, just just, uh, just just so his life is uh not as hard. It is yeah. hard, and it'll continue to be hard. But maybe he'll he'll be sheltered from the rain, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we could we could put a little bit in, and uh, it it could help them a lot, right? And, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, something yeah. something small, like a, maybe three four thousand. We could build him a shelter, a, a house. Yeah. yeah, that that rain won't get in anymore, you know. And so, yeah. uh, to to me, that that's something that is worthwhile uh -huh. now that I. Don't have to worry about my yeah. own shelter because I have enough money to be comfortable. Yeah. Now I, I could focus or I want to focus my energy into helping other guys, yeah. uh, other more in other individuals who can't help themselves yeah. to to just be comfortable or mm. or just to shelter them from the rain. So that yeah. I'm kind of thinking in that direction now. It, it's kind of funny that if you don't if you don't have to worry about yourself anymore, right? And then it, it gives you it gives you the at least the mental energy to start caring about other people or start yeah. like finding ways to help other people. Oh um, yeah, yeah. But if you still have to take care of yourself, it's like very difficult to to like you know to to go help to other people. Help. You know? Yeah, yeah. To yeah. Help those are, and and not only. You don't want to help, but you you don't even see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't yeah, see that. Yeah, you don't I see need it. The help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're so focused and you needing the help yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, where where is this location at? And I, I thought you were planning to build. Uh, you're building homes there too, or you like you're planning to like plan to build some schools or or something like that over there too, right? Like yeah, talking, yeah. Well, some some yeah. future projects that you, you're gonna be doing yeah we're looking at schools and um uh, uh houses for handicapped people uh-huh so there, there's just a lot of people in laos thailand and vietnam are really poor yeah but the poorest of the mall is the handicap mm -hmm. be, be, because this guy basically he just went and found scraps yeah. to build his house to to build his shelter, yeah, you know, and and, and so uh, because he has no way to earn money, because he has no skills, he doesn't even know where to uh, where to uh, make money, yeah. And, and, and so um, those individuals that don't have the ability, because they're not like here in the U.S. Yeah. where the government helps them and it takes care. Over there, there's no social service. If, yeah. if, if you're handicapped, then you're just handicapped and poor, you know? Yeah. Uh, and, and so I, I want to at least help that population that that is handicapped okay. and they can't help themselves. Yeah. And, and the, the kids, by maybe build a better school, also shelter them from the rain, you know, the elements. Yeah, yeah. 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 So where is where is the, the this location at? Like where is it? Is so, it Laos, Thailand or? Yeah, yeah, it's so it's all over. It's Thai. It, it, so Thailand, uh, the the handicap, uh, pers uh, the uh, poor handicap. There, there's there's about five of them in each village. Yeah. Uh, and, and so we're gonna tackle that same thing in Laos. Uh, Vietnam, it's even harder because to get to them is like it's a it's a challenge already. Uh -huh. Okay, you know, yeah, because those guys they have they don't have any asset. So basically, the land that they stay in is just borrowed land, yeah. and and they they they're giving the the piece of land that is the least desirable and the yeah. farthest from anywhere. So. Yeah. So in, in Vietnam, it's even it's even yeah yeah. Uh, but but 
but the school and in, in Vietnam in Thailand is better. Uh, yeah. The buildings anyway. Uh, in Laos, uh, the Hmong villages, the, the the their school, the the buildings are are pretty bad shape. There's all made basically made out of gang there. Uh, uh, bamboo and and wood, isn't it? Yeah, so it yeah, doesn't yeah. It, it doesn't uh, withstand the element too well. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, uh, because when it rains over there, it pours like. Oh yeah, and yeah. Then it goes sideways. But, and it comes yeah. into the building, you know. Yeah, yeah. I've been. Uh, I went there. With my wife uh, uh, for a honeymoon actually uh, when we got married, and so we we're thinking of uh, doing some schoolwork over there. Because I think at least over there, uh, even like basic education really changes your your life uh, livelihood. Oh yeah. You know? Oh Just, yeah. Yeah. Because Joko Pavage is it really shifts your livelihood and change it for the better. So we definitely want to do some work over there. That's why I reached out to you about it too, because uh, I saw you were doing that, and I was like, hey, we we're planning to do something. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah uh definitely as you continue these projects i uh, want to be able to raise some funds for those uh um uh, for these projects i think they're important i think uh, it, it needs to be done so i'm glad you're taking yeah. like, the lead on some of these i mean i mean it's just it's just not me doing it's um i'm getting resource from other other individuals that yeah that, that uh, are comfortable and they yeah. have enough money to last them several lifetime too yeah. and, and and they're able to see the need and able to help so so i'm just doing i'm just spearheading the whole thing but it's yeah. money from other individuals that 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 have also have that compassion wanting yeah. to help and, well, and you know that and, and that goes back to wealth right if, yeah if if we have a lot of our own community members who have are very wealthy now yeah all it takes is me making a phone call and say hey you know this is school we need a hundred thousand and probably you just make one or two phone calls and you probably yeah. can build that school overnight you know yeah and, and yeah. that's why wealth wealth is very important for yeah. our community and we're just starting out yeah you know? i think I think your my generation and your generation, meaning the kids who yeah. who grew up in this country, they're the one that they're the ones that are 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 going to start this wealth building process. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully, our children take over and uh, and, and 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 build upon that foundation or or or, or that amount of money that we already uh, set aside. You know, yeah. and once we get that going, we have. The ability to do more, to help yeah. each other more, uh, to help our our our, our uh, families who are poor. Yeah. You know the difference. I, I keep thinking to myself, the difference between me and my poor cousins in Laos is my dad making that decision to leave. Yeah, yeah. That's it. If my dad yeah. had said stay, I would have been as poor as them. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's all. That was one one decision that changed my life. Yeah, it changed my cousin's life. You know. Yeah, I, that's why I'm like we uh, like what you stated earlier before too. Like we have such a big opportunity over here, right? Yeah. And we should not waste. Like I mean, people will you you do what you want to do, but for me, right? I see that I shouldn't be wasting this opportunity. Like I shouldn't be angry at my parents for not teaching me i shouldn't be angry at my older siblings for not understanding you know and to change your heart i was in similar when i started my mom was yelling at me yeah. <laughs> she thinks my like, business is beneath me like i was selling i was helping my wife sell clothes at uh at the festivals and stuff at that time she was just my girlfriend too i was helping her sell clothes and my wife's like my mom's like you got a professional degree why are you selling clothes it's like right. more huh? like you know <laughs> And uh, so, for a while, I was kind of uh, I was kind of angry that my mom didn't understand. But now I know that yes, of course she didn't understand. How could yeah. she have understood, <laughs> right? 
but they did yeah. provide us like put job it was and you know they mm-hmm. they, they provided us that uh this opportunity already so they did and their that's, job already, that's as like far it. that's as far as their they could do is that's as far as their the the capability was to get us across the river now yeah 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 now that we're across the river it's up to us to yeah. to make all their dreams or or to not just theirs but i think um to do what no one in the history of our people was able to do yeah, yeah. what well, is given this opportunity to accumulate immense yeah. amount of wealth yeah yeah for sure so so that later you could do projects like what size going to do now so so what if people want to build wealth the same way you did like like how uh because I'm in the real estate side, but what people want to do exactly what you just said, the assisted living space and, and do exactly what you just did. Like how, how do you suggest they get started? You know, you know, I don't think that I don't think it is one particular industry that makes money. Uh-huh. I think every industry makes money. You just uh and, and it doesn't have to be a brand new industry too. I for me, my 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 big believer is you just find find a business that people need now not people mm-hmm. want right yeah like you need housing yeah you need yeah. someone to pick up the garbage yeah right you need water you need food yeah and 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 if you could find a business where people need and you build it and then mass produce it scale it scale just, up. yeah you just all you need to do is scale it you yeah. uh if you if you're able to scale it you'll be you have more money than you know what to do with yeah you know uh, a lot of times what happened is um like for example let's say i built those four houses right those yeah single family i got those four i mean we were making two hundred thousand a month a, a year I yeah. profit two hundred thousand a year. Yeah, I could have been comfortable, you know. That's yeah, just, more money yeah. than I see in my whole life, right? Two hundred thousand yeah. a year, and I could have been comfortable and then just like, yeah, just do those four houses and that's it. But don't do that, right? Don't yeah. don't be that. Yeah. Go find another. Uh, figure out what you can do to scale it, just to go bigger. Yeah. You know, for me, it, it, if the project doesn't scare me, I'm not doing it. You know, and <laughs> and, and so <laughs> yeah, so project don't scare you. Yeah, it's it's not yeah, worth. There's it no point because it. you already you already you already know how to do. I mean, you already yeah. know how to do the one house. Why yeah. do another one house? Yeah, let's do ten house this time. You yeah, know? yeah. And after you got your ten house, it might take you two three years to figure out how to do it. Yeah, but yeah. once you get your ten house, you're like, oh, that's easy. Let's do fifty house. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't encourage anyone to like keep jumping from business to business. I encourage yeah. people to. I only done one business, and that's it. Yeah, you know, yeah, the assisted <laughs> living, and I get, I get pulled in different direction. But I said, no, I don't yeah. want to do it. So I yeah. encourage people to just figure out what they do, learn, be become an expert, really yeah. good at what you do and then just scale up yeah you know, so just, pick, just go bigger and bigger bigger more and more just yeah. like monopoly you keep trading yeah. the little house for the big house you know? yeah yeah so you're saying find a need so find something that people need and then mm-hmm. fulfill that need and then be expert in that need and then yeah. scale it. yeah, uh, yeah. so it doesn't matter yeah. if that's it like three simple steps right Easy. So, easy. Yeah, <laughs> that's easy. Easy to do. Anybody could yeah. do it. Uh, basic so rule. I, basic rule. And yeah. to, you know the best way to beat your competition. Yeah. Is treat people well, and and call them back right away, and give them give them the information up front and let them make decision. Yeah. And just have a quality, a uh, good reputation, quality business quality company yeah. and and that if you have that it'll it'll build itself yeah you know yeah uh 
I know in in uh, so how do you scale, right? I I know that for the longest for uh, well not that longest time I didn't start that long ago, but for a while I was really uh, I was doing everything myself with my wife and one of my partner, and so you were actually the one that got me to hire a staff because uh, just well you didn't like say two you gotta hire a staff, but just like all the information you gave and. Uh, and because I was scared to hire staff, so I hired staff this year. I have one staff, <laughs> so we gotta scale. <laughs> we gotta focus on scaling. But when I hired him, like all the little things that you know, I get all these calls. We had like twenty plus units, so I get all these calls all the time to go take all these little things, and they take away from my, they take my attention away from like, like, yeah. like, like thinking about how to grow the business. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. So you told me, uh, I think my brother-in-law asked that question, but you said, just budget it out. And I was, I was so, I don't know why I didn't think of it like that because all the rehabs I do, I budget it out. I already hired contractors. I budgeted that out. So I don't know why I didn't think that, okay, if I hired a general guy as a staff, just budget it out. So I was like, okay, yeah. 40,000, this 40,000 is going towards this guy that's going to do yeah. all general stuff, you know? So mm -hmm. I hired him the last like three months, and um, and, and some sometimes uh, I mean he keeps track of the hours that he 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 put in, and so sometimes he gets paid less, sometimes he gets paid more, and stuff like that. But that really freed me. Like I was like, oh okay, I don't have to like answer that stupid call with, like yeah, <laughs> do something well, stupid. It, it it allows you to think now, right? Yeah, and it also free you to pursue. Uh, more opportunities. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean that that's. I I tell I, my my uh, relatives uh, back in um, Laos, they have the same uh -huh. problem. They can't hire anybody. Yeah. Because they're so greedy, they want to keep all the money to themselves. <laughs> I'm like, you can't grow. You can't grow if you keep all the money because there's only 24 hours in one day. Yeah. You don't have time to do all that. You know, yeah. it's. And so for me, I had no problem hiring people. As long as I have the money to pay them, I'd yeah. rather have the freedom to pursue and to go chase the banker, you know? Yeah. To, to yeah. find the banker. I'd rather, I, I, rather <laughs> have, I want that time to find the banker than, that's, than, than walk around with my screwdriver, you know? Yeah, that's funny. I just had lunch with the banker earlier today. And, and and because I had that hire or that staff, mm -hmm. like I was able to meet the banker. Like before, yeah. I, really got, I got a bunch of calls too, but my guy handled it, and I was talking to the banker. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Funny. yeah. Just at lunch with them. See, uh, see, you're going through that transition of scaling your business, being yeah. able to free up your time um, to build something bigger, yeah. and 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 um, that's kind of how you have to grow, right? Don't don't yeah. uh don't don't be afraid of well the the other thing i, I tell my wife is we yeah. don't create the, the the position the around the person we, yeah. we have the position and then we find someone who has that skill to do it yeah and when when that person doesn't have it you just get rid of it and find a new one you know and yeah. you just keep doing it until you find somebody that fits yeah. that position but you can't be afraid and then so oh it doesn't work so i'm just gonna take it back over don't yeah. do that if you do that you have no no time to yeah. do anything. Yeah. yeah. So 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 just keep looking if if you need to. Like replace mm -hmm. the person and that job still needs to be filled. Don't yeah. take that job back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't quit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So continue that. Okay. So uh yeah, you don't recommend any business at all. But do you guys, if you guys are listening here, we have about 70, 80 people uh are, are watching this right now. I don't wow. know if you see the counts, yeah. No. But I see um, nothing. Oh, okay. We have over 80. <laughs> Early, we had like 100. So some people uh, uh, left. But we still have a lot of people here. Do you guys want to? Uh, I think Sai is going back to teaching. So do you guys want Sai to teach some of the these stuff? Uh, let us know. If you do, uh, comment below. Uh, say yes or put Sai's name that you want him to teach. Uh, at least the, uh, his expert uh, of field. So that's uh, the assisted living stuff. So, so if people do want you to actually teach, would you would you do some? Uh, oh, we have one person. Uh, hold on, let me let me put that on here. There's one person that wants you to teach us assisted living. Oh, we have two now. 
then let's see if there's more people <laughs> because <laughs> only two people i'm not gonna like but if people are interested right would you put something together to kind of share you know all the assisted living stuff that you you learned so far like would you do something like that i i think you should by the way well i uh, once i start doing my philanthropy stuff i'll probably do less of, yeah. of the of the teaching um right 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 now i got a couple of people that sign up where they 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 pay me to consult them from from the beginning to the end on how to open one up uh -huh. you know i i actually had, a couple of years back i did that with one guy and he he got, I think he, he, he got a 20 unit up. He's uh -huh. doing pretty well. Okay. Um, it, co only, it cost him 10,000. Uh, oh. But yeah. he, he, he had me for like two years. <laughs> oh, man. 10,000? That's. <laughs> I should have done it. Damn. I should... <laughs> yeah. But... He paid me. He paid me 10,000 yeah. and, and I worked for him for two years. So, um, yeah. I, I don't know if I want to do that anymore. It's just too much time commitment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. May, may, maybe down the road, uh, just do like, I don't know, an, a day workshop or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, when Yang says, please teach us how to pursue resources, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll, since you don't see it, I'll, I'll read some of the, what people are saying. Uh, Nang, well, Nang, well uh, the, the, yeah. the best way is, once you get into your industry find 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 other people that do what you do yeah and then find out find where they bank right yeah find, ask them where they get their money to build what they built yeah then, and then you go from there because okay. most likely those banks are comfortable lending to to that uh, type of it. that pipe yeah. that that type Be because for i i don't join a lot of groups but the groups i join is my uh my trade group the people who yeah. also do assisted living i yeah. join those people because yeah. it allows me to be around other people who do what i do and they have resource that i don't and i have resource that they don't yeah and so that allow when, when you do that it, it allow you to um cross resources and and trade ideas back and forth because they themselves are expert and you yeah. yourself an expert but you're able to learn and teach each other yeah um it, it, because they're in the same field so it's easier yeah. to, to have that conversation okay yeah so join 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 uh people in the industry like yeah. uh but but what if people said now you're you're like co-mingling with your uh competition like don't yeah. get <laughs> no no competition <laughs> no but i i i sent i sent my residents to the guy down the street and the guy down yeah. the street sent his residents to me too yeah 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 you know yeah all my real estate stuff i had never seen any competition at all like mm -hmm. like we all just support each other um, well and, and and it goes back to what i said is if you treat people good you have a good reputation you produce yeah. result you have quality products yeah it doesn't matter how much competition they'll come to you yeah 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 that's true okay so i want to read a couple of these for you what all the people said uh okay. so uh because you can't see it so um i think J jz or g's uh, uh said uh oh, about the 50 units if you're interested in the i think there's someone here well Ning me said definitely they want you to do a course and they'll take the uh, I, they'll they'll come do the assisted living course um uh gu Xiong said take me as a student so you you have a lot of you have a few students here already uh i, I just want to read a few more here um uh, let's see uh they said uh, uh name me said side talk are you opening can you open a mentoring program uh i think they want you to do more mentorship too <laughs> you just said probably okay. not <laughs> okay okay so <laughs> so so i have a lot i have uh an informal 
yeah. mentoring process. Yeah. A lot of times people just text me, message me and say, hey, I'm running through this issue. What do you think? Yeah. And then I, I respond back and I kind of give my feedback. And yeah, uh, I, I, I don't have problem. I'll continue to do that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I have not turned down one person who reached out genuinely yeah. asking for advice, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I have no problem doing that. And that's, I'm, that's just free. I, yeah. a lot of, a lot of some, some of the people that they probably consider me as their mentor. Yeah. I've never met. I've never oh, met. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not in that uh, sister living space. I consider you a mentor. Yeah. There's all the stuff. Like, that like yesterday, yeah. yesterday, there's some, I don't know how old he was. Some yeah. kid, I can't pronounce his name. I was, I was messaging back and forth on how he should structure his, his, uh, he's going into real estate and yeah. starting up. And so I'm just, <laughs> I was messaging back and forth, yeah. telling him how to structure his, his, uh, his business. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that's good. Thanks for doing that. Uh, Ying Yang said he wants you to take his money. So, uh, take his money. <laughs> Maybe the philanthropy work with it. Uh, I cookies. think Yang Yang I like yeah. Yang's cookies. Yang's cookies yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I'll I need, just take his cookies instead. Yeah, I need to reach out to Yang. So Yang, after this, uh, I gotta I gotta talk to this guy. I gotta talk to Yang. Yeah, his yeah. I gotta try his uh, his uh, pastry stuff over there. It, it's uh, very good, but it's not yeah. good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's good, but it's not good. Yeah, your kids. Yeah, yeah. your kids could could um digest that's could could handle because yeah i mean just cookie it's just not his stuff it's just sweet right yeah. now i i probably could taste like maybe i could take a couple bite but i can't sit there and eat cookies all day i'm, I'm gonna yeah. like die with high blood pressure yeah yeah for sure <laughs> uh i uh this year i'm trying to focus on health as well so maybe not that many cookies but uh god show says uh there'll be it'll be great if you do a one day workshop so that'd be awesome uh, if you could do that uh i think um uh, maybe after this you should or even me to plan some of that uh if we're able to we'll let you guys know if you guys really want it um spam uh size uh, uh inbox and say hey i want you guys to do i want you to do a workshop <laughs> <laughs> it's other i i'll be willing to put that together as i come and teach that workshop uh, i think it's needed um especially if you're selling your 50 unit and you're going to kind of sort of exit the industry uh we need like three four other guys like you in in, in our community so um yeah think about that um uh, i think we're towards the end so if you guys have any questions ask the questions now um uh, we're towards the end, so I think uh, I might let a uh, side uh, go in a little bit here. Okay. Um, well, just a few more questions. Aside, like what? I mean, we talk a lot about like a lot of different things already. I think we went through your whole life and how to structure, how to kind of do your business, whether whatever industry that you're in. You know, uh, focus on scaling, right? Um, uh, there's there's a lot of uh, questions here. Oh, there's a lot of people that kept comment about this balls thing. So can you, uh, I know, oh. maybe, <laughs> yeah, I didn't put that up because I don't know if that's appropriate or not, uh, the comments, but there's a lot oh, of no. comments about the balls. And uh, I know you yeah. talked about this already. Uh, you the and big balls. Buddy Chai. Yeah. yeah, the big balls thing. Explain that concept. Okay, so, yeah. so um, the whole idea of having big balls is, is, I worked with a lot of individuals who want to start a business and yeah. they're, they're excited and, 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 and I put a plan together and then when it's time to put the money out, yeah, they back out, they back away and, yeah. and they don't want to do it. They're scared. They, they, they don't want to lose that money. And so then I just assume the majority of the people who want to do it are like those individuals yeah. that I experienced myself. So the difference between someone like them and like me is you got to have, 
got to jump over that line, you know? Yeah. Like, take your money out. Once you put your plan together, take your money out, do it. Yeah. And you, you just got to have balls, right? You got to yeah. have, you got to have the balls to just do it. Like, like for me, I told you I was too stupid to know I could have failed. Yeah. You know, that, that was kind of my big balls moment, you know, <laughs> <laughs> where, where I put all my money in and I either yeah. win, I either lose it all or make it right. Yeah. And, and you, so to me, that's like growing your balls, having big balls. Yeah. And, and, and if you don't have that, if you're not willing to do that, doesn't matter what kind of business you're in, you're never going to do it. It, yeah. it will never happen because you'll be scared again and you'll go back to planning again and, and quit and plan again and quit. I seen, yeah. I seen, I have friends that do that. They start something, they get halfway mm -hmm. there. They always spend a little bit of money, but to spend a lot of money, they quit. You know, yeah. for you, example is you went to your fourplex. It took some balls. You grew some yeah. balls. It took some balls for you to do it. Your wife was scared. Yeah. You know? But you had yeah. the balls and you didn't let that happen. You got to have yeah. those moments. More. More of those moments, right? Yeah. That, yeah. To me, that's growing the big balls. <laughs> when it, At those moments where you need to make that big, big decision. Yeah. You got to do it. You got to make that decision. If you can't make that decision, you don't yeah. have the balls. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh... I, I totally understand that concept. I meet, I even meet some ladies that have bigger balls than some other uh, guys that 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 I, I I've met. And so I guarantee just, you, I guarantee you, some some yeah. ladies I know they got big bigger balls than other guys I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they they'll come to me uh, about real estate stuff, and you know I share. Right now, what I do is I'm just like read this book. Like if you don't read it, like uh like it's hard for me to try to explain everything to you because you don't you don't you don't grow any balls like you don't go in and do it you know right, <laughs> like, right. Quit asking questions just go do it <laughs> right <laughs> so, so get that and uh yeah uh for us uh, for us anyways we're uh we're focusing on scaling this year so we will have to grow bigger pairs of balls in order to really yeah. scale <laughs> so, everybody right focus, everybody yeah. on your team especially the guy yeah. who makes the big decision yeah yeah so for sure Damn, that's me I, I i have to make all the decisions <laughs> <laughs> hopefully uh, by that time you you'll be ready right you have yeah. enough background enough uh, uh experience and confidence yep. yeah to make that big decision yep yep yeah so uh, i mean that was one of my questions right what do you think separates people that are wealthy and those are not and so uh is that guess, one is that one thing is that one yeah. trait yeah you, you either do it or you scare and you back out yeah 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 so it's it's the having balls to to do it they grow some balls kind of thing um what what are some uh i mean we're towards the end already so i don't want to keep you any longer you you spend I, I i took a bunch of notes so i don't know if people are taking notes but i i i took a bunch of notes um what are any last advice you could give like to uh, the younger guys like us or anybody that are starting out now whether they're or, you know in their they're still in the w2s they work they're trying to start their own businesses they're starting the real estate stuff they're starting investing mm -hmm. well, what's some advice you could give them to kind of have balls and stay on track well i i think right when when even when i was starting out there's probably less people i could go to to ask for advice yeah uh and and even when i ask because they're old school and they will not tell me nothing you know they, they won't <laughs> share anything with me yeah and yeah. i think that has changed a lot uh not not everyone is as open as as some of us yeah uh, but i say don't be afraid to approach someone and and try to get advice from them yeah if you're starting out, you know, and, yeah. and it doesn't have to be me. It could be you. It could be other guys who are in the in their industry. Uh, it's it's okay. I say it's okay to go ask and ask for advice. 
And if they're asshole and they're jerk about it and they say, no, that's fine. Then you just move on to the next person, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and don't, don't give up. Right. If you need guidance, keep asking until you get the right guidance. Yeah. Uh, eventually you got to find somebody that will want to help you. Yeah. Um, you know, and, um, I decided to help people because my friend helped me when, when I was asking for, uh, yeah. advice from him. Yeah. So, yeah, um, um, me and my wife too. We would not have been able to do it without like our our investment community uh, and you guys. I mean, you too, uh, aside to to help us. You know, especially when we get stuck, and especially when when you you uh, you you know, it's up and down too, right? For me, anyway. Yeah. Like sometimes you you at your low point, and you're like, oh man, like uh, le le bon ha, you call you, huh? Nah? And yeah. uh, that's when like all the other buddies that we have are able to kind of lift us up and like keep us going kind of thing, you know, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm definitely appreciative of that. I'm appreciative of you always like, I know you don't have to, but you're out here. You're, you need to, you need to continue your business cigar talk thing, man. <laughs> uh, I usually go do it when I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not bored. I, I, yeah, I'll probably do, I'll probably do more. I should do more. Um, yeah. I I'm gonna do maybe do a little bit more. Add some traveling stuff to it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um. So. Yeah. So do that. Um. Uh, and so that's why uh, I mean I I kind of share this to you and, and some people may or may not know but uh, uh this year we're gonna try to provide more content and more information to to you guys. Uh, we're going to try to do this at least once a week, uh, every single Thursday at 7 p.m. Uh, to provide information to everybody. And part of that is also that this year we're doing the um, we're doing a conference. Uh, let me put that up here again. We're doing a conference this year uh, because Chai's not doing it. And so I was like, Chai, we got a lot of people want to try to do it, but he he, he needed a little rest as well. Um, which is fine, um, but we're gonna do a Among Wealth Builders uh, conference 2023 here. That'll be August uh, 24 to 25th um, here in St. Paul. So um, if you guys uh, want, you know, I already put the web. Uh, actually, let me share that. Let me actually share that screen. Uh, I think that's on here. I don't know if I, I'll put it in the show notes. It doesn't matter. Um, but the uh, the website's live you know it's monkwealthbuilders.com you guys can go there and buy tickets uh, we have early bird tickets this is our first time talking about it um and i, I want to talk about it here because Sai Sai didn't tell me to do it but he inspired me to 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 do this so that's why i wanted to have him on uh to, to make sure that bit the community bit the Hmong, we build wealth individually and then we can build wealth together you know uh so we'll we'll focus on business and real estate this year uh, we have a bunch of speakers that will be attending and a bunch of different workshops as well. Uh, so if you guys um, want these early bird tickets now, this is the first promotion. I think after a few months, we're going to cut off to uh, a regular uh, ticket sales. And so uh, we're limiting to 300 tickets. Uh, so, you know, you guys come. It's all inclusive. We're going to have breakfast, lunch, dinner, entertainment, all that stuff all included into it. Uh, I, I just wanted a conference that's all inclusive so that we could focus on the learning and networking with each other. Uh, you're going to be there, Sai? Do you guys want Sai to be there? Uh, Let depends. me know if you guys want Sai to be there. If I'm on, like across the other part of the world, on the other side of the world, I don't know. It'd be the, that plane ride is too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, like uh, you know, or say yes. To Sai and and uh, we could we could make him change his uh, schedules and, and, and show up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll pay for your ticket to fly back for two uh, days. To fly, fly back on the other side. <laughs> oh man, I'll be dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, I mean, if I if I haven't started the philanthropy stuff, if I'm I'm around, yeah, I'll, for yeah. sure. I'll do, okay, you know, All right. yeah. If, if you guys want him there, uh, let me know. Uh, message him as well. Tell him to come. That'll be August 24th to 25th here in St. Paul. Uh, and, you know, it'll be a good time. Uh, and so I, I hope that all you guys are there. I didn't tell Sai this, but I really do want to raise funds. Uh, I'm, 
I uh, I told Sai a little bit. I, I do a mastermind group and all that money we we're donating those. So we're still looking for different uh, projects to donate to. Uh, they pay. They pay for the ma- uh, We have twenty guys that they pay to be part of the mastermind, but we're donating all of that, right? And um, cool. so I wanted to uh, uh, when you do your philanthropy work, I wanted to donate that too. If you guys buy today, uh, if you guys buy the early bird tickets. Then I want to donate five percent of that to uh, uh, size uh, philanthropy work too. Once he gets started out, I have to hold on to the funds until he he starts. So uh, I didn't tell him this. I I, I didn't oh, tell you. Appreciate you it. You gotta man. donate. Yeah. So yeah, you guys buy. Yeah. My, my you, goal is to make sure we built that house for for house that that kid that yeah. um, island. Yeah. Th- there you go. Maybe this this is the fun to this the. The fund uh, to build it. So, uh, you guys use. Uh, uh, I'll put. Um, uh, let me see if I can share. Uh, now, now I have to share. Uh, let me see if this works. I'll share now. Uh, oh, because I, I took it out earlier. I'll put on here. Um, Mong, Mong builders. I, I don't know if this is sharing. Uh, I'll put it in the notes, but uh, you guys go to mongwealthbuilders.com and then uh, if you guys go on there, uh, use the code uh, SY5, so S-Y-5, uh, five, uh, the number 5, uh, you'll get 5% off as well. Uh, so just go on there, put S-Y-5 uh, for size name, uh, and then uh, you'll get 5% off. huh? C-Y. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, C. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was looking at something else. On C Y, yes, C Y five. Uh, uh, let, let me put that on the notes uh, uh, on here. So uh, C Y five uh, for five percent off. Yeah. Uh, so if you do that, it, it, it's only so I could track. So if you put C Y. Uh, five uh, as the promo code, you'll get five percent off, but we'll still donate five percent to to uh, size philanthropy work. And so, hopefully, we could raise enough. You guys go tonight, you know, and purchase those early bird tickets. Uh, we could raise enough money to build at least the houses first. Uh, and then, uh, and that, that, and then I think our group will kind of match some of those funds as well. So, uh, we hope we could. What well, cost like what, uh, four thousand? How, how much would it cost? I, I think the house for that guy probably four between four to five thousand. Yeah, we four to five. Get him a nice sturdy house. Yeah, so we could raise five grand. So we just if we raise twenty five, I'll put the other twenty five. So uh, oh, on look at that. Yeah. All so right, I'll match, right. match up to twenty five so that we have five grand. Uh, on all right, all right, all yeah. right. Sounds good, man. Yeah, so do that. Uh, I'll put more information on there. Uh, if you guys are able to uh, purchase the tickets, uh, that way uh, we could get this uh, ball rolling, and uh, we'll have a great conference this year. And we'll try to get side to come, come, come uh, over there this year too. And as the weeks go, uh, as the weeks and month goes through, uh, uh, when we start really promoting this uh, conference, uh, we'll uh, start letting you guys know uh, the speakers that will be coming. So. The first speaker that I shared on the website is my cousin Zach uh, Fang. Uh, uh, he's he's been investing in real estate for a long time, been a great mentor for me too. But uh, I'll kind of bring him on just to share the story. So, uh, with that said, any last words, Sai? Uh, and then I'll I'll probably let you go because you've been yeah, more, we more than generous. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, thanks a lot, Sai. Thanks for coming on. Uh, you, you, you are the uh, Hmong wealth builder uh, that I know. Uh, and I, I just want to thank you for kind of paving the way, uh, sharing like the experience that you have, being unapologetic about the way to do it, uh, being, un- uh, being unapologetic about making money, right? I mean, some people are like, I don't know why people get funny around the topic of money. And so I'm glad that you're actually here and saying that, hey, we need to make money. Uh, and then oh, we, yeah, we do, yeah. man. Yeah. So, so thank <laughs> you for that. I appreciate like all the stuff that you put out, uh, uh, all the uh, time uh, and and, all, and your mentorship to me. Even even though I never asked you like, hey, be my mentor, but I know that every time I message you, you're more than willing to give that time to me. So thank you so much for that. Okay. All right, man. Good seeing yeah. you.
All right, with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks okay. for tuning in.